Okay, I just want to know where we're going. It's pretty. Hello everyone, welcome to a new video and it's a bit of a different one this week. We've come on holiday, we're doing a camper van trip around the Cotswold, a bit of a road trip going all the way round up one side and doing a loop down the other. So our first stop, we've come to Sirencester and we thought we'd stop here, which is at a, a Roman amphitheatre. We thought we'd stop here first, let Merlin stretch his legs, do his business, <laughs> Uh, before we go into the actual town. So yeah, that's us where we, we're at. I hope you enjoy coming around with us. If you like old English villages and all that sort of thing, this will be a good one for you and I hope you enjoy it. Wow, lots of lumps and bumps and things. Really looking forward to it. Hope the weather's nice. So yeah, we're on holiday, which is exciting. Wow, so this is it. Oh. Well, not the best start, to be honest. <laughs> I just um, slipped down that slope there and I just could not rescue myself. So I wore the, my most Roman outfit that I could think of, a linen dress and I've got my copper bangle and uh, a sort of Roman-y sort of necklace. And now I'm gonna have to get changed because I have mud all down my backside and on my leggings and so before we go into the town of Sirencester which by the way was the second largest Roman town in Britain I'm not going to look so Romany in Britain in Sirencester <laughs> so yeah and I'm going to have a great big bruise on my bum as well I expect we're just sort of sitting here and relaxing for a bit before we uh, before we tackle the town. Merlin is a bit of a hard work in town. Aren't you, usually? You're going to be a good boy today and not try and say hello to every single person we see. You okay? Yeah. Tired. Chris has had a busy way to cut work. Not ideal, but never mind. This is such a cool street. Look, every single building is in a slightly different angle and it's probably a slightly different age as well. Oh, look at that. Well, we managed to get, I think, probably the best parking spot in Bybury. Look, that is the most photographed row of houses in the country, apparently, or at least in England. And we managed to get parked right by it, right by the river. So we were very, very lucky. So Sirencester was lovely. Oh, it, was, it really was. It's one of those towns that you wish you lived nearer to. Oh, oh my gosh, I just saw a trout jump out of the water and back in again. There's a trout farm just up there, so I guess it escaped. <laughs> yeah, what was I saying? Cyrus Esther was lovely, I had a look around the shop, just, just really nice. And art galleries, starting to look in art galleries now. And now we've come to Bybury, it's our last stop of the day, so we're just gonna sort of relax a bit. Like I said earlier, Chris had a really busy week last week. So I'm glad we've managed to time it so that we can sort of chill a bit today yeah got the perfect spot we'll probably get out and have a little wander around here and then later on we've booked um using the brit stops book so we've got a place to sleep tonight at a pub restaurant and we're gonna eat there as well so that's that's our day planned <sighs> and the sun is shining and it's so warm it's so beautiful and look that's that's the view isn't that incredible
So I've left Chris and Merlin having a snooze in the van. And I'm just having a little wander around. It's, I mean, it's tiny. <laughs> and the gift shop and everything is closed now. So there's not exactly a lot to see or do here. But um, it's just so pretty. And there's this walk way through some parkland, marshland and by the river. And it's just so peaceful and beautiful and lovely. And it's just, yeah, it feels like summer, which is just, wonderful i'm not a winter person no matter how much people talk about cozying up by fires and blankets and hot chocolates it's still not summer <laughs> still can't beat summer You're vlogging yeah <laughs> yeah oh dear no i'm embarrassed <laughs> yeah just lovely that's all i was saying isn't it so i'm just walking along this bit which leads to the row of houses so i don't know if we're going to be doing any photos for instagram because yeah, Chris is knackered. Chris is exhausted. Oh, one of the little cottages has got a fire lit. So I, I've watched so many YouTube videos about the Cotswolds, but I can't remember a thing. I'm terrible at remembering stuff, so it all feels a little pointless. But I do remember that this was one big building. I think maybe for weaving, something to do with wool. <laughs> and then a bit later, it was divided up into little cottages. And I think that's what it is now. Most of them, I think it's all owned by um, National Trust and privately rented. And then there's a holiday let at the end, I think. So you can come and stay here if you want to. It's quite busy. So to be fair, <laughs> I don't think there's any chance of getting Instagrams without a million people in the background, so I'll give up on that idea. Anyway, so I'll let Chris carry on snoozing and just uh, just wander really slowly and just enjoy it. Busy on a Sunday. Welcome to the Sheep Street. Welcome to the Sheep Street. These houses are amazing. These buildings, I should say, not all of them are houses. Good morning. Welcome to a new day. We had a very nice night and a lovely evening meal at the Inn for All Seasons nearby. And today we've come to Burford for the morning. Beautiful, beautiful town. If you're coming here, I would recommend getting here super, super early because. It's Sunday and there was nowhere to park. We were just so lucky. Someone pulled out just as we came past and so we could park. Yeah, very, very busy. So yeah, we've got to look around this beautiful town. A bit later, we're going to the wildlife park because dogs can go to this zoo, which is incredible. So we had to go. <laughs> so this is the church. Apparently there's some amazing churches around here. 12th, 13th, 14th century, sort of old. Because the wool trade did so well, there was plenty of money to build these amazing churches. It's a proper sort of old romantic, neglected graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Merlin! Come on! Uh, so he's half. Look, this is our parking spot we managed to get. <laughs> right by these gorgeous old houses. We could just stay here for the day if it wasn't for such, such a busy road. Look, with a view of these. Oh, that's the most beautiful town I've ever been in. <laughs> it's a monkey. Oh, he wants to play with the monkey. <laughs> it is like taking a child yeah. horse. <laughs> We've got our little grandchild. <laughs> Doesn't matter if Rainy Jude never provide. <laughs> Come on, 
Merlin, have you seen the rhino? Oh, it's coming right over her. Pretty flowers, pretty plants. Oh, and then there's that one. <laughs> we are so childish. Morning. We are currently stopped in a very, pre I just had to stop to say good morning really, in this beautiful little village called Little Barrington. I mean look at the houses, can you imagine living in one of them? They're just stunning. So yeah, I didn't tell you about the wildlife park after we went. It was a really nice day out, yeah. We sort of timed it perfectly really, a little look around Burford in the morning was just right to then go to the Cotswold Wildlife Park after that. Yeah, it was just really nice. Lots of different animals. It was really funny taking Merlin around and it was a bit like Christmas treating him like a toddler. Like I said, I think I think I said in the one of the clips, yeah, who needs grandchildren when you can take a tod when you can take a, a dog to these places. Yeah, so I would recommend it, particularly if you've got a family. It was very family orientated and lots of interesting animals and creatures to look at. Yeah, I was thinking it's actually been a really long time since I've been to a a real life zoo or safari park or anything like that. So today we are on our way to Borton on the Water. I'm just going to keep talking past the cars. I hope you can hear me all right. Yeah, we're going to Borton on the Water and Upper Slaughter and Lower Slaughter and then on to Stow on the Wold. Bit of a photography day, so don't be um, surprised if you see me change outfits several times. <laughs> so uh, we're going to get our Instagrams in today, although I'm not feeling like I look my best. I've got a bit of bags under my eyes. Not the best of sleep. No fault of the camper. Fault of a snoring husband. <laughs> um, yeah, so I hope you enjoy looking around the lovely little villages. We thought we'd take the, the, low, the road less travelled and past all these villages to get there. And I hope you enjoy looking around with us. We saw that in the distance and wondered what on earth it was, that building. And um, uh, now we're going past it, we're none the wiser. Is it just an animal shelter? Gosh, look at this, these gates. There must be a big house behind there. Well, bought another water is not quite what I expected and probably coming on a bank holiday Monday was, was not a good idea. We just found this footpath to take us along the river a bit, take let Merlin off the lead and have a wander. And it's just so nice to get out of the crowds. The amount of people is absolutely ridiculous. So yeah, it was nice, nice to have this little peaceful walk by the river, just a short one. And now we're heading back, back in. And uh, yeah, I mean, it is beautiful, but a bit difficult to see the beauty amongst so many people. I think it's a place where you get up at 5 a.m. And, and appreciate it then. We have a winner already. We're not territorial. Is this a spot? Uh. Thank <laughs> you. 
well we've come to a beautiful place with not such a beautiful name <laughs> it's called lower slaughter it's a lot bigger than i thought actually it goes around a long way just so pretty oh i've just seen someone's got a no no photography sign outside the house it suddenly got busy there was hardly anybody here just now but then it was raining a bit so Chris has stayed in the camper van while I've come out to have a little wander and take some photos because he just needed a bit of a break. Merlin is hard work, <laughs> very cute but hard work and uh, we don't take him out in towns around people and other dogs enough and he needs constant reminding on how to behave in those situations. So yeah, particularly as the crowds were so bad in uh, Borton on the water, he's just having a rest. Also, we couldn't quite get in a parking spot, so we're half on double yellow lines. So he's, he's stayed in the van while well, I popped out to have a wonder. And I'm very glad I did, because it is beautiful. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to sound like a broken record around this whole trip. It's like beautiful. <laughs> I just love old buildings, like old medieval. This, I mean, most of these are uh, like medieval towns and villages and uh, apparently unspoiled because after the success of the wool trade, apparently a lot of these places went into decline, which is why there wasn't the development that you often get in villages in the Victorian era. So they've just stayed as beautiful as this. Oh, I want to live here. Just look. Plus I had a little look around the art exhibition in there, which, um, there, yeah, some nice things in there actually. Yeah, that's where we'll live when we win the lottery. So they're very royalist. Yeah, well, they might be related. <laughs> because of Charles. <laughs> I'll, have I'll have to come back this way because I was taking photos and forgot to film. So, um, yep, change of dress indicates a change of location. <laughs> We're now at Upper Slaughter and I've just walked past a Ford beautiful oh my goodness i'm gonna to need to think of another word other than beautiful stunning it's absolutely stunning yeah definitely a, a good photo spot but there's a family having a picnic there which is fun. yeah actually chris did come out in the end and we did some photos in the other place for instagram i haven't really been on instagram much at all lately i've been doing stories i did one photo on the grid recently and that was the first one in a while i just sort of have gone off it a bit Instagram with the reels and stuff anyway that's not what this video is about I could do another whole video about that <laughs> so I'm just having a wander around this beautiful most quiet bit so I'm in the sort of valley area the house is this side of me they're mostly behind hedges but where you get a peek they are I need another word for stunning and beautiful Outstanding. <laughs> so I hope I can walk in a loop and come up the other side. Yes, I think I can. Yeah, I was sort of saying about Merlin earlier, wasn't I? He just needs a bit more training in situations around people. Also, he he's he goes absolutely mental over herding us. Well, I passed some people and I've totally lost my train of thought. Well, I, was I talking about Merlin and... Oh yes, yes I was. <laughs> he, he herds us, he herds me and Chris together. He cannot stand us being apart from each other when we're out and about like this. Um, so we need to learn what to do. We're just not sure how to handle that. And whenever one of us has gone away from the other one and then we come back... Oh my gosh, this is so lovely. He just goes absolutely mental, pull, yanking on, pulling on the lead and trying to get out of his harness. Yeah, it's really, it is quite a handful to, to manage, particularly in a crowded area. So, right, I'm going to have to film these cute ducks. <laughs> and this is the path I'm walking along. How beautiful. Ok, 
Okay, Berlin, come here. <laughs> Are you going to go back again? Okay, ready, steady, go. Here we go. <laughs> Oh. It's all free parking. Excellent. So we've just come to Stow on the World. I think I'm going to leave the camera here for a change. And uh, so I'll just show you the town from the car, <laughs> from the car park. I think. This is the prettiest car park I've ever parked in. Well, Chris has ever parked in. <laughs> How lovely. So yeah, I'm gonna just go look around the shops before they shut, if they haven't shut already. Fun facts. Pardon? Uh, no, I'd be useless doing fun facts. I've just read the um, the information and then promptly forgotten everything. <laughs> oh. He <laughs> <laughs> did. Well, it's our last stop of the day and we've come to the Roll Wright Stones just above Chipping near Chipping Norton that they are a Neolithic uh, ceremonial stone circle so about 2500 BC they're a lot older than I thought they were when I first saw the picture yeah really interesting Good morning. Well, today I have come to Broadway and I've woken up with a really odd sort of sounding sore throat. So, sorry if I sound really weird. <laughs> oh gosh, there's so much noise going on. Sorry about that. I think I'm gonna have to vlog later. Sorry about this. Merlin is refusing to, <laughs> this is what I was talking about yesterday. Ah, oh, here he comes. I didn't think I could get him to go with me. So, <laughs> I've still got the strangest voice. Every now and then it just like cracks and, it's, and I sound like Chewbacca. Please accept my apologies. So I was trying to tell you this morning that we were in Broadway, which turned out to be a lovely town. There were so many nice shops there. Yeah, the sort of place where, I just wish it was more local to us. 
so that when I was in a spending mood, you know, I could just go and spend some money on lovely stuff for the house. Also, I found Betty and Violet, which is the shop I've bought from before online. Um, it sells beautiful, like shabby chic stuff. And so that was a nice surprise. I didn't know that they were there in, in the Cotswolds. Um, but yeah, very pleasant to look around. And I would definitely recommend Broadway if you for some nice shops and it felt more relaxing because I suppose because they didn't have the river or the nice old bridges it wasn't so populated by people just looking at a nice old town so it just felt a bit more relaxed we thought we'd have a bit of a breather today because yeah because we're just doing the sights and uh, we're both quite tired we just thought we could do them a bit more a bit of a break in the middle of the week so this evening we are going towards Chel Cheltenham and then we'll do more exploring after that. So yeah, it's a bit nice to have a bit of a breather today, I have to say. Mm. And I thought I'd have a go at a bit of painting. I'm <laughs> it's one of those things where I really did enjoy myself. So the first one I had another try at doing pens. I don't know whether I need to give up on using brush pens. I think I get a little bit frustrated in changing pens the whole time. It seems to take quite a long time. I don't know, maybe that's something to do with it, but I don't know. And then I had to just go with my old watercolour pan set. Whilst I really enjoyed it, so I think it's worthwhile doing, I am quite disappointed with the results. They look like I was five when I did them. I suppose it's practice painting from life. I'm almost always painting from photographs, which is quite different, isn't it? Got to keep practicing. I don't do this very often. And it's just, you know, like when you look at what you've done and you just want it to be good. And you're like, oh, I just wanted that to be better than that. <laughs> Try and stay positive. Keep practicing. We've just got to keep going. We'll get there. <laughs> it wouldn't be a camper van holiday if we didn't go down a single track lane with grass growing down the middle. There's a peacock prowling around inside the marquee and Merlin really wants to play with it. Yes, that one, that Merlin. But we've got the treats, so hopefully we can keep his attention just. Good morning, it's another day. We've um, we're actually decided to cut the holiday short by three days because Chris has got work to do. Something's come up at work and he's got to get back. We weren't really sure what to do today. We were going to think about going to Stroud. We sort of went there, couldn't park, first of all. I jumped out and I had a quick look around. Now we've driven to Newark Park, a natural trust place. Uh, to have a look around here and then we're off home. So yeah, Chris is waiting outside with the dog and I'm going to run around the house and then we'll swap places, have a wander around the garden and then that's probably it. <laughs> There's hardly anyone here, so I'm getting to do lots of filming, which is quite good. This bit of the house is Tudor from the 1570s. Then it was extended in the 1790s and then restored in the 1970s and given to the National Trust. So there we are, a little bit of background. Well, that's one hell of a view. Oh my gosh, it just gets better. Look, you can see for miles over there. So this was only built so you could actually watch the hunting. They didn't actually care that much about the view itself.
just got home. Typical, it's the loveliest day. My just breezy here. Breezy here, back in Somerset. Anyway, we had a really nice time. I think we'll be definitely trying to go back to the Cotswolds again as soon as we can to make up those days that we've missed. Also, it's nice going back a second time where you know your bearings a bit better and how long it takes to get from one town to the other and that sort of thing. So um, yeah, it'll be lovely to go again. Off season, <laughs> off peak season for sure, but still when the weather's nice. That's the problem. That's the problem with this country. We have such a small window of time where the weather's nice that it's always going to be crowded a bit, I guess. Anyway, I'll say goodbye. I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you enjoyed looking around the Cotswolds with us and um, I'll see you again soon.